What's up guys, this is Corey with Dirt City Games, back with another video for y'all. So today I wanted to take a look at the upcoming Dallas Pro Play Games event this coming Easter weekend. Um, unfortunately, because it's Easter, I'm not going to be able to be there, but I still wanted to kind of give y'all a breakdown of 10 decks that I would expect you to see um, this coming weekend. Um, kind of go over them a little bit, um, give a little bit of thought process into what the deck's trying to do and everything like that. Um, just as a reminder, with all these deck lists, these are just pretty basic standard kind of um, sample deck lists that I'm giving you these aren't the lists themselves that i would necessarily take to the event or i would expect to see like card for card but somewhere in a good you know 45 card mirror maybe um of what you would kind of expect to see so let's get into the lists all right so first up we've got a um shinron storm super shinron storm um so this is the three drop variation that's um starting to see a little bit more um attention Personally, I think this is the better version of the list, but there's also just the normal like swap type variant. Um, so this is really like banking on the preface of uh, Recovery Goku and the Explorer Bulmas that come into play, untap your energy, put cards in the drop, um, do all that kind of great stuff. Um, it's got the Source of Power Sun Goku, which gets it's a great like target to swing with, and then obviously to close out games, it's got the Mirror uh, Creator Absorb that you can give double strike and just swing for just huge numbers that way. Um, Super Shinron's a real you know big popular deck right now. People are really talking about it, whether it's good, whether it's bad for the game, and all that kind of stuff. Um, regardless of whatever you think, it is one of those decks you are going to have to prepare for. Um, this is one of the variations you're definitely going to see. All right, next up we've got um, our green, yellow Broly. Um, with the rise of the Super Shinron, and really just kind of people getting more acclimated to it, Broly's kind of seen um, a kind of a dip in play. Um, obviously, it won the first two big celebration events. Um, but even then, if you go back and look at those like those lists and everything like that, or those numbers and the event lists, um, there weren't that many Broly's that actually made it into Top Cut. The ones that were making it were doing very well. Um, versus this most recent recent event, um, there's only I believe one, maybe two Broly's that made it into Top Cut, but they ended up not doing that great. Um, so you're always always going to have to expect to see Broly, um, whether. It's gonna end up doing that well. It's just kind of up to depending on how really how the deck rolls. Sometimes it can like draw like a god and you just can't stop it. Other times not so much. But really, um, it's just focusing on the Broly chain. Everyone kind of knows what that is at this point. Um, one drop, four drop, six drop, eight drop, um, and then the SCR, and just kind of taking board control and controlling the game, and you know always having hand advantage and drawing cards to the leader and all that fun stuff. Um, yellow version is probably the more um, one you're going to see the more of, and it's probably the better version of it because it gives you things like access to um, Frieza's Call, gives you Cold Bloodlust, uh, Bad Ring Laser, Master Roshi Negates, all that really good stuff. Um, so again, be prepared for Broly. Um, I don't know, I can't say that it's going to win the event, but it's one of those decks you're going to have to be prepared for. All right, next up, um, this is kind of a newer deck to the scene. Um, we've got Agents of Destruction Dende. Um, so this is taking um, advantage of the new Agent of Destruction cards in the new set, Destroyer Kings. Um, and it's using the Boo SCR to cheat them all into play at once. So you're dropping five at a time. Um, plus you've got a Boo that's triple strike. Um, you can give him Barrier with some of the other Boos that you put underneath him. Um, and then you can swing with him and then evolve into the um, uh, big Boo that gives plus 30k and has triple strike as well. Um, so really strong stuff overall. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this deck either. Um, I don't think it's that great. I think it's kind of inconsistent, but it is a deck that you have to respect. Um, it's like power turn or it's kill turn. Uh, whenever it really like blows up and goes off, like it's very hard to stop. Um, they're really, it's kind of RNG based almost. Um, if the SCR is in life and you can't find it, then the deck doesn't do, do well. If you can find the SCR, then deck does really well. It's really kind of dependent on that. Um, it's kind of a one-trick pony in that way. Um, it wants to get all the big bombs out, and if it does, it's hard to be. It's hard to stop. If it doesn't, then it doesn't have a lot going for it. It's pretty linear in that way. But again, like I said, um, it's getting a lot of hype more recently. Um, there were some lists that did well more recently in the last Celebrations event. Um, so it's one of those decks you always have to be prepared for. You're not going to see just like a ton of it. Um, it's always going to be restricted on how many people actually have access to the SCR. But again, one of those decks, like you need to be prepared for it. All right, next up, another newcomer to the um, list. We've got uh, Lemon Lime or Green Yellow uh, Frieza's Army, Chile Linmo, whatever you want to call it, using Set 1 Golden Frieza, which is really cool. We're getting back to using a Set 1 leader. Um, this is also taking advantage of the promo Broly chain. 
Um, you get those into play, they untap energy, or they tap energy down, they don't let them untap. Um, the big guy blows up energy. Um, you've got the Chile's and Lenmo's that discard cards. You've got uh, Shenron to bring guys back. Just a lot of synergy with the deck in general. Um, the leader lets you sack guys to untap energy and draw cards, so it's always going to have access to its energy. And it's going to be drawing cards a lot. Um, it's got Freeze's Call, which brings out guys. It's a cold bloodless deck, which is really strong right now, just having access to that card. Um, and then things like Fly Nimbus are really good versus the... Um, the Super Shinrons and all that kind of stuff. So one of those decks, um, I don't know that the deck's strong enough to really like dominate an event or do extremely well, but it's getting a ton of hype. Um, people are talking about it, big name players are talking about it, so you definitely need to be prepared for it. All right, next up, we've got another variation of Super Shinron. Um, this is a, kind of your more almost traditional standard one. This is the one that won um, the most recent Dragon Ball Super Celebrations um, by Marcus Kintarsi from uh, Shinron's Lair. Um, this is more of your swap variant. Um, he's also including the Height of Mastery um, engine, which gives it just another additional um, engine to really go with and be strong. If like you stop it early game, it's got the Height of Mastery stuff to go in late game. So again, just really strong. Um, you're using all the swap stuff. You're you know attacking multiple times. You're taking multiple turns. Um, again, just very strong thing. If you're, you should know what it is by now, what it does. Um, figuring out how to stop it is just the next thing, and um, just be ready for this. All right, next up we have our skillless Goku. Um, I think um, blue yellow is pretty much where the decks kind of sat on right now, or people are kind of saying this is probably the better version of it. Um, you've got other options. You've got like blue black. Um, you got red, blue, black, all that kind of stuff. But I think ultimately yellow, blue is probably your best bet um, and one the one you're going to see majority of. Um, it just gives you access to too many good cards like Nimbus, uh, I'm the World Champ, um, and things like that. Um, again, pretty much people know what it does by now. Um, you're swarming the board with vanillas, you're having great hand advantage, um, you're swinging with tall, big bodies that are really hard to out combo once they get out. Um, you have almost an infinite amount of resources as long as your Kid Goku stay alive. Um, then you got Power Burst to bring those Kid Gokus back. You've got removal with the Kid Goku and Android engine um, and all that kind of stuff going on. Just overall, an incredibly strong deck. Um, this is probably a deck you're going to see the entire, the, the most of, most people playing this because it's such a fun deck to begin with. Um, it's pretty easy to pick up and play. You kind of know what's going on, um, and it's just really hard to stop. All right, next up, you've got Old Faithful here. You got Janimba. Um, Honestly, I don't know how, to, how many Janimba you're really going to expect to see um, with things like TN and things like that. People have pretty much figured out Janimba and it's kind of gone away, um, but it's just still one of those decks if you're not prepared for it. Um, it can really just take advantage of you and just win games that way. It's still a very strong deck by no stretch of the imagination is it bad. Um, it's just kind of gotten outclassed more recently, less people are playing it, and I think that's really the main thing is that the, not that it's not being played, just less people are playing it. Um, but again, you have to be ready for mill. Um, if it if you're not ready, then it takes you by surprise, and it'll just get you get you through you real quick. All right, next up. So this is kind of my personal edition. Um, I think this is a deck that it's not getting a lot of attention. Um, I think it's a deck that has the potential to do really well, um, and that's Hercule. Um, World Martial Arts Tournament Hercule. Um, obviously, Storm is really like the big hype deck right now, and historically, uh, Hercule's always had really a great matchup versus um, Storm. Really, been its disadvantage was Janimba, and in a world where Janimba is not as popular, I feel like Hercule has an opportunity to kind of get back up in there. Um, obviously, you're probably not going to see. I wouldn't imagine to see this, but this is one of those decks like I think really has a shot. So this is kind of my secret throw-in. All right, next up, we've got Gogeta Ramp. Um, so this is starting to see a lot more attention more recently. Um, there's a couple different variations of it. I think the more common variation is one like this, which is red-blue. Um, personally, I prefer more of a mono-red approach myself, but uh, red-blue is kind of where you're going to see a majority of these lists. Um, the leader searches for the Gokus and the Vekus, and basically what you're trying to do is get the big promo Veku out. Um, whenever he's killed, you get to ramp energy, and then you play big dudes. Um, ramp decks are always fun whenever they pop around. Um, this one has the an uh, added advantage of having a draw and removal engine on both the leader on his backside, uh, which is really strong. He's blue, so he gets access to dimension magic, um, all that kind of good stuff. Um, again, 
one of those decks I would definitely prepare for. I don't know if it's strong enough to win an event, but it's definitely one of those that um, can sneak in there. All right, and finally we've got, um, again, Pan, one of the old faithful decks that's probably never gonna truly go away. Um, Pans, you always have to expect to see Pan. You may not see Pan in droves, um, but Pan will be at an event. Pan will be at every regional, every big event. There will be a handful of people playing Pan, and usually one or two can sneak into top cut, depending on where the cut is. Um, if it's a top 32, I would almost guarantee you're going to see at least a Pan. Top 16, you'll probably see a Pan as well. Uh, but it, Pan does what it does. It plays everybody's pal Yamcha. Um, it's got the Digging Deeps. It's got Chain Attack and a Zeno. Um, it's got an SCR now, so it has a card that can really kind of finish the game for you. Um, Chain Zeno is still always just a great... Um, just kind of neutralizer for different card, different decks in the format, whether it be Broly or Vanilla Goku or different things like that. Unfortunately, Pan's probably caught in a situation where it's probably not quite fast enough where it has access to deal with things like the Super Shinron type decks. Um, but like I said, you just have to prepare for Pan, just always. But anyway, guys, like I said, those are my 10 decks that um, I would either prepare to see, expect to see, um, kind of the 10 decks that I think are going to kind of do the best with my one secret edition in there with the Hercule. Um, that's just a personal favorite, honestly. Um, let me know what y'all think, what decks you're expecting to see. Is there anything that I missed, anything that you don't think is going to do well? Obviously, Hercule people are probably not going to be a fan of that. But other than that, are there any things you're expecting to see, not expecting to see? Um, if you're going to the event, be sure to let me know. Unfortunately, like I said, I can't be there. Easter is kind of a hard weekend for me. But um, other than that, guys, that is it, and we will see y'all next time.